many lovely peeps. Happy Monday. Welcome back to the sewing room. I've had a lovely weekend with Wilson. He arrived slightly earlier on Friday, which was a little bit of a shock. I had planned, I hadn't had lunch yet and I had a video to edit, but I managed to get that one up on Saturday. And then I decided to take yesterday off and spend time with him rather than do a hangout. If I had done a hangout, it would have only been for like an hour anyway. So I decided just to take the whole day off and spend it with him because he had come a long way to come and see me for like two days. <laughs> on his way home yesterday, it was an absolute nightmare. All, none of the trains were running from Portsmouth to, Water, um, to Waterloo. So it ended up taking a two hour journey or two and a half hour journey, ended up taking like six and a half hours. So yeah, he got home about midnight last night, bless him. But it was really nice to see him. It was really, really nice to see him. So I'm very grateful that he came to visit for, the, for, the, for a long weekend. He took a Friday off work. So yeah, it was lovely. So the bodice of the 7537 is complete. I need to remove the gathering stitching from the gathers around the waist and I can't put the sleeves on until I have bound the edge and I can't bind the edge until I have put the skirt on. So that's what I'm going to get done today is the tiered ruffled skirt which is going to be a tutorial because you guys have been asking for that. Hopefully should be able to finish this dress today because I don't need to let anything drop on the bias. I'm still trying to decide if I put the elastic channel in at the bottom or if I put a little cuff on or just leave like an inch of fabric, do a narrow rolled hem, leave an inch of fabric and then shear the like sort of four lines of shearing at the cuffs. I think both would look nice, but I think the shearing one might be good because there's a ruffle around the neckline and the little, little ruffle at the cuff might echo that nicely. I've never done shearing before though. So uh, I mean, I have enough fabric to recut the sleeves if I fluff it up or just I can always make the sleeves slightly shorter but the whole point of this was for longer sleeves because it's an autumn winter dress even in that print and fabric <laughs> but yeah I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the sleeves yet but they're the last things that get done because of the way the dress gets constructed so I don't have to make any decisions as yet. I also am thinking about looking at levelling the hem on this one because it's done a lot of crazy things but it's been a week now maybe not quite a week a little bit longer than a week so i think i could i think i could level that now and it it successfully not get any longer so i'm thinking about doing that i have also ordered the tan wool for the cape lady mcelroy and sherwoods have both put out their christmas discounts that are going to be running from now until christmas eve and i think sherwoods is 30 pounds off if you spend 125 or more and then Lady McElroy directly is 20 pounds off when you spend 80 pounds or more. I think I've got those right. So I'll link both of those in the description down below. So I'm going to get on with my tiered panelled skirt and uh, that should mean that I get the dress finished today which will be awesome. So hopefully I'll have that to show you later. Wish me luck. One eternity later. I waffled a lot at you this morning and I hope it's been worth the wait, but I have finished my dress and I think I'm in love. So this is the first 7537 that I've done without obvious trim on the outside and this is the first time I've done it with the ruffle and the pattern would have you put two ruffles on, one here where I've got it and then another one in this on this edge here. I think that might have been too much. It would have been too much for me. The single ruffle is gorgeous and me being me I don't like ruffles to not be the same both sides so I've actually fully lined this one which is not something that the pattern calls for but again my preference. I decided against shearing the sleeves because I realised that the length of these sleeves is perfect for my wrists when I've just got the elastic channel in them and it would have been too short if I had gone for like the another ruffle at the at the wrist and then some shearing there. Although that is something that I would like to do in the future. And yet, as I say, all of my dresses that I've made of this previously have always had trim on the outside to hide the seams, which made making this dress a little bit more kind of hand sewing intensive on the inside because again this is me we're talking about so I have clean finished everything on the inside with um, turning things under and slip stitching them into place but I, I love it I absolutely love it I've also put on a tiered and, and ruffled skirt I did start doing a sew along for it but I kind of realized that I sort of fluffed up a little bit with the way that I wanted to do the tutorial so I stopped filming that and I'm going to do another 
ruffled skirt because I'm going to make another one of these dresses. I absolutely adore this. I think it's gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get far enough back where you are for you to see what it looks like. But I don't want to put you over there because we were back into Greenwich Mean Time now, which means that it's getting darker a lot earlier. I think it's about half past six and the sun went down ages ago. It feels really late, but it's not. So yeah, I started really early today as well because I got up really early because I kind of got up at what is usually eight o'clock, but now it's seven o'clock because the, the clocks have gone back and all the rest of it. So yeah, it's just dark in here. Like I, I, I think I, I don't know if I actually put this waffle out, but I was thinking that I might try and put some permanent lights up uh, above the window for the evenings because that is the best place to film. It's the furthest back I can get from you guys, but it's also one of the darkest places in the room to film. So I'm not sure which is going to be the best bet, but we'll see. So oh yeah, I, can, I can tip you down a little bit. Let's do that. Okay, so I have a tiered ruffled gathered skirt on this, which is way more volume than this dress usually has. The usual skirt that goes with this is still rectangular gathered in and then it has a straight panel that goes along the bottom but for this time I have done the tiered gathered skirt and I promise I will do a tutorial for this. I, like I said I started with this one and I kind of fluffed up with the placement of the stitching line but it's definitely not what, how I would want to show you guys how to do it so I am going to make another one of these probably an exact replica of this except with slightly longer sleeves that I can then really put like a cuff on with a ruffle at the bottom of the sleeve because I think that's going to look gorgeous as well. Made the elastic on these big enough that I can wear it comfortably around the upper part of my forearm if I wanted to or I can have it all the way down around my wrists. I just, I'm so pleased with this dress and I love the little ruffles. I love the little ruffles. So this is definitely a kind of Zimmerman inspired, gunny sacks inspired, cottagecore inspired dress. I was going to do like a whole kind of video about the making of this dress and then I kind of just decided that I wanted to power ahead and get it done because I wasn't sure that I was going to like it as much as I do. But now that I know that I do, I am going to make that video with my next fabric that I'm going to use this dress on. And it's probably going to be one of the crinklier viscoses. I kind of also really like the idea of doing it with the fruity navy background viscose that I have, if I have enough. Because this skirt whilst it's not fabric hungry in the same sense that circle skirts are it is still hungry for fabric there are eight 12 inch strips in this skirt and that's why it's so full yeah it's also why i may not have enough of the fruity navy fabric because i think i only have three meters of that and then the scraps left over from my mum's melly low shirt because she loved the fabric so much i bought some for her as well but yeah this definitely for me reminds me of something that zimmerman would would make i i wouldn't have been surprised at all to see this style on their website i kind of like it without the trim i probably will wear this one with a belt which i don't do with my other two that have got the trim on them yeah i always knew i was going to like um, this bodice with different skirts. I'm glad I've tried it with this one. I'd also like to try it with a circle skirt because I think that would look beautiful as well. But I know I owe you guys a tiered gathered skirt tutorial so I think that will be the next one that I do. But I do think I probably will put the ruffles on the next one as well because it's so pretty. I couldn't find copper hardware for this dress anywhere. Nimbaway very kindly offered to send me some copper eyelets but I couldn't find copper cord ends for it so I've ended up using gold because I only have one silver cord end left. Whilst I don't wear gold very often I do wear it and I don't really mind mixing metals so yeah I've got little gold eyelets on this one. I'm not quite sure how I managed it but the eyelets are quite symmetrical. I used the same pattern piece to mark them and I was very careful but they're kind of just a little bit off but again because it's all so busy I just don't think it's one of those things that anyone's going to come up to me and go your eyelets are out by about a quarter of an inch <laughs> and if they do again they're far too close i'm really pleased with this there's going to be more of these there will be like you know <laughs> there just will be it's just it's a, a fun dress to wear it's a fun dress to make and it's pretty and i can layer it up 
and then I can these sleeves whilst these sleeves are big I can also still get a cardigan on top of them so I can still wear them with things that might keep me warm in the cooler months I don't think the ruffle because there is a ruffle going all the way around I don't think that's going to hinder wearing a cardigan either but I will report back if I find that it does one thing that I didn't do is I have lengthened this bodice because I lengthened the body I lengthened the torso in this part and I also lengthened the top of the bodice and I didn't lengthen the ruffle so the ruffles meant to come probably about sort of two good two inches lower I think I go away with it on this one I don't think it's like superly obvious that like the ruffles too short but that was something that I hadn't thought about when I was cutting everything out it was just gung-ho go ahead get it all done and I think I need to add like a quarter of an inch of length to the ruffle pattern because there's four in here so if I've added a quarter of an inch of length I should end up adding another inch to it and then I'll sew them all with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance rather than a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and that should make the ruffle come down to here. But again, for this one, it's totally fine. Totally fine. So yeah, really pleased with this. I am going to stay down here and I'm going to try and level the hem on the skirt because I think it's been up there long enough that I can do that. And I would really like to get that finished today. Yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of the evening hemming the skirt and getting that finished whilst I'm down here that should take me a couple of hours I think then that will be done as well which is awesome so yeah um anyway that's wow nearly 30 minutes of waffle and I waffled at you a lot this morning as well so hopefully I've managed to cut that down into something that's at least a little bit interesting for you guys I hope you have enjoyed my day it's been really nice to be back in the sewing room so I will love you and leave you and I will see you all tomorrow bye